Hey guys, today we're diving into a question that's been popping up a lot in the Raspberry Pi community. Should you be running a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system on your Raspberry Pi? First of all, how do we even figure out whether our Raspberry Pi supports 32-bit or 64-bit? It's actually super easy. If you SSH into your Raspberry Pi or start its terminal, you can either run the ARC or the uname command with the dash M option. This prints the machine's hardware name. And yes, it obviously doesn't spell it out for you, but don't worry because we have this handy dandy table. Basically, if your output reads ARM64 or ARC64, then it means you're using 64-bit. Otherwise, all other options means you are on a 32-bit architecture. So whether you're into gaming, DIY tech projects, or you just love messing around with these little boards, let's talk about the basics. The Raspberry Pi has supported 64-bit operating systems ever since the Raspberry Pi 3 came out. And with the Bullseye release, official support for 64-bit became a thing. Now, if you're rocking a Raspberry Pi 3 or anything newer with more than two gigs of RAM, I'm gonna cut to the chase you should be using the 64-bit version of the Raspberry Pi OS. It just makes sense. But if you've got an older Pi, like the Raspberry Pi 2 or Pi 0, you're gonna be stuck with a 32-bit. And that's mainly because of the hardware limitations on these boards. Now, why would you wanna go with 64-bit in the first place? Well, there are a few key reasons that could really make a difference, depending on what you're doing with your Pi. Reason number one memory access. A 64-bit OS can handle a lot more memory, up to a mind-blowing 16 million terabytes, theoretically. And that's a big jump from the 4 gig limit on 32-bit systems. And yes, I know most of us aren't pushing terabytes on our Pis, but with the newer models offering up to 8 gigs of RAM, a 64-bit OS lets you take full advantage of that. Reason number two, performance. With a 64-bit OS, your Pi CPU can process more data at once, which translates to better performance, especially for heavier tasks. And if you're into things like OpenCV for image processing or other data-heavy projects, you're definitely going to notice a big difference. But there's more. Compatibility is a big deal too. The tech world is now moving towards 64-bit, and some software just won't work well on 32-bit systems anymore. So for example, if you're trying to set up a Unify controller on your Raspberry Pi, you're gonna need a 64-bit operating system. And with the release of the Pi 5, the Raspberry Pi Foundation has just straight up recommended using 64-bit version of their operating system. So you know that the future is now heading towards that direction. Now, let's be fair, 64-bit isn't all sunshine and rainbows it does have a big downside, and that's increased memory consumption. Programs on a 64-bit OS need a lot more memory because they use large pointers and data types. So if you've got a Pi with four gigs of RAM, then you're good to go with 64-bit. But if you're on a more memory-constrained model, like a Raspberry Pi with five 12 megabytes of RAM or one gig of RAM, then sticking with 32-bit might actually be a lot smarter. So what's the bottom line? Well, if you're using Raspberry Pi 3 or newer, and you've got more than two gigs of RAM, go ahead and switch to using 64-bit. You'll get better performance, full memory access, and future-proofing for upcoming software. But if you're on an older or lower memory Pi, sticking with 32-bit could help you avoid running into memory issues. So hopefully this clears things up for you between using 32-bit versus 64-bit versions of Raspberry Pi setups. Thanks for watching. And for more on the Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.